Hey guys, what's up? It's Jade. Um, okay. I am popping in right now looking a hot, destroyed, disheveled mess. Um, just because I feel like, you know, this is like my diary through my transition into this part of my life growing as a person, becoming the person that I am. And, um, I feel like I'm able to say almost anything on here so with that said don't judge okay judge if you want to just do whatever you want okay but basically i'm just here to talk about sex with the ex i don't know where to begin it's just sex with the ex ain't nobody got time for that Basically, let me backtrack. So, okay, I'm in my hometown now. Um, as I don't know. If, well, if there's any new people, hey. Um, and if you guys have been watching my videos or have seen any videos, then you know I had just recently moved and I'm back in my hometown. So, of course, being back in my hometown, um, where it gets around that I'm back, you know. Um, and my ex boyfriend found out that I was back. And, um, yeah, I'll tell you guys later how he found out that I was back, but she knows I'm back. So, basically, you know, he wanted to see me, he wanted to talk, and I was like, okay, I'm down to talk, because, you know, um, the last time that we did talk, it was pretty brutal. It was pretty brutal. It was not good. So, you know, I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, down to talk, um. And somehow, in the midst of us talking in his apartment, um, you know, we started doing what grown folks do. Um, in the back of my mind, the whole time, I was like, oh, this is, this is not good. Like, I should not be doing this. <sighs> but... At the same time, it's like, my emotions have been going so crazy. Like, one minute I'm happy, one minute I'm sad, the next minute I feel depressed. So it was like, even though in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. Oh my god, why am I doing this with him of all people? It kind of was comforting, because I felt so vulnerable. I felt so just, ugh. Like, I just needed some kind of loving attention from any which way. Which is weird because, you know, pretty my whole transition, I, did, I, I never cared. Like, if I was down, a, a, a guy was not going to m make me feel any better. Like, it just was what it was. Like, having sex or doing whatever was not going to make me feel any better. But it's like... Now, for some reason, you know, after taking the hormones for a little bit and, you know, now that, uh, you know, I'm temporarily off of them, um, sorry if I keep touching my hair too. It's just, I look such a hot goddamn mess, but whatever. Um, being off of the hormones now, you know, for a little bit, um, it's just crazy. Like, my emotions are literally sporadic like they're more all over the place than they were before and so it's like just getting that attention it it was comforting and it was so easy for me to just fall right back into a place of did oh did my fucking earring just break oh 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 okay whatever we're just not gonna touch that no more so you give again earrings at the goddamn beauty supply. But anywho. What was I saying? Shit. This is why I'll be making a video about the effects of not being on your hormones. Cause one of them, I don't remember shit anymore. Um. Oh. Mm, duh. It was just, it was really comforting. Um. You know. 
being with him, it was it was comfortable being kissed, it was comfortable being held, like it was uncomfortable. But the one thing that after I was done, that I never, never, never have experienced before, you know, before I was taking hormones and stuff, you know, if I slept with someone and you know, or did did some things, whatever over here. We all grown up in here. Okay, did some things. You know, I sometimes I would kind of regret it, but I, you know, I would kind of just brush off my back like, oh well, it happened, it is what it is. But now it's like, you know, thinking more as the female that I am, you know, it kind of is like, yeah, okay, I had sex with my ex-boyfriend, but at the same time, it's like, why did I do that? Like, you know, like, it's like, I kind of really, I don't want to say I, tr I truly, truly regret it. Because in that moment, it was what I wanted. But at the same time, I, I do regret it a little bit because, you know, I just feel like if I, you know, was emotionally, mentally, um, all the way there, you know, like, um, as opposed to when, like, when I was on the hormones, you know, I was a little bit more, ah, psych mind altogether. I wasn't as vulnerable at times, you know, I don't think I would have done that. But then again, who's to say I could have done it? But still, just, <laughs> I'm rambling. Needless to say, sex with the ex. Ain't nobody got time for that. Because now, basically, I'm stuck in a trap again. Because I know that he's going to be calling me and texting me, and it's going to be annoying because we clearly are not together for a reason. You know, and it's just, ugh. I don't know. I don't know. It's just sex with your ex is just not a good idea. I mean, one, it's, it's going to make you want to jump back into that relationship. Two, it's going to make you start having feelings for that person again. Three, as trans women with our emotions everywhere, it's just not a healthy thing for us to do. I mean, for some people, it may be perfectly healthy and perfectly fine for you to get back together with your um, ex. But for a lot of us, it's just not a healthy situation. Um, you know, and at this current moment, I'm just, I'm going through those seven stages of denial, basically. Like, did I do that? Girl, you ain't do that. Girl, you did that. Like, why did I do that? Yeah, I'm going through those seven stages of damn denial. It's uh, not fun. But, I don't know. I guess that's it. I just wanted to come and um, babble and ramble and ramble, ramble, ramble about that. Because I just need to get off my chest. Because I just, I kind of feel so stupid, almost, in a sense, for doing that. But at the same time, I, I don't. You know, I feel like it. it is what it is. But it's like... God, I just wish, you know, that I had not done that, but, I mean, I did it, it's done, I can't take it back, I have to be a grown-up about it, and move on, and deal with that, because it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how this plays out, but hopefully it'll play out pretty good. <laughs> Anywho, um... I guess that's it. If you guys have anything, any words about this, leave them down there. Let me know. Hey, we can have a whole conversation about sex with exes and um, just the, the bad relationship, the, oh, this is not so good. Um, just, yeah, and I mean, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. The dick was good. That was a little blunt, but, oh well, fuck it, I don't care, this is my YouTube. The dick was good, it was on point, but it's just a simple fact that I kind of feel like it shouldn't have happened, you know, but anywho, 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 this video is being long for no point, so like I was saying, if you guys, you know, have anything to say about it, drop a comment down there. <clears throat> And as well, if you guys don't want to talk about it on here, I will try to figure out how to link my Twitter and my Instagram down there. Um, because that's I'm usually on Instagram, but I'm starting to get more on Twitter. So if you guys do want to talk about sex with exes, um, plus I want to meet other trans individuals, other 
male to female, transgenders, and female to male, transgender, transsexual, whichever one you want to call yourself, whatever. More people in the trans community. So, I will try to link my Twitter, which is at jbouget, and I will try to link my Instagram, which is jbouget, down there. And, what did I saying? Just drop a comment down there, we can have a discussion about it. This might be kind of interesting, it might be kind of fun to see about different experiences with sex with the exes. But anywho, alright guys, I'm gonna go because I'm rambling. I'm gonna go wash all this off and tie my hair up and eat and go to sleep because the bitch wants some Ben and Jerry's and wants to watch Waiting to Exhale. Yeah. Bye, guys.